Well, hello everyone. It's me, Sassy Stacy from Head to Heels, and I'm here with another edition of All My Shoes. Uh, today I'm wearing my pleather pants because people are requesting them, and now that it's fall, I've decided I can put them on and safely get them off because it's way too hot in the summer for pants like this. I got my cherry shirt and gone with a zebra earrings because I'm crazy. Should have went with leopard in retrospect because I think we're going to try on mostly leopard print shoes today. So let's get started, shall we? All right. You know, I think I'm going to start with these babies. These ones are the other pair that's in my best video on YouTube, like highest views, which as of today, October 15th, is only 22,000 views away from being a 1 million view video. That's crazy to me. 1 million views on a video about my Wedding shoes and these shoes. This is called doing a throwback to some old faves because these are very well worn. I believe I got these at Payless when they very first opened. And that, gosh, has to be over 10 years ago, let's say. Phil, over 15 years ago. And <laughs> crazy. Um, yeah, they're pretty well worn. I got a bunch of uh, nicks in the heel, you can see. Like I mentioned in past videos, they're all like uh, scuffed from, you know, the rails of the shoes coming up the back of the heel there. Uh, lots of wear and tear on the back and on the toes from, again, tapping your toes and stubbing your toes. And Man, I used to walk to work in these. I mentioned that in the doing the throwback video, but I did. I used to walk a very far way on a very big hill both ways. <laughs> oh, because I'm an idiot, I guess. Um, they're size seven and a half. The brand is Fioni. And uh, let's uh, let's try them on. They're in sling back. They are like a fuzzy faux uh, calf fur or whatever they call it. Um, but again, they're like super comfy. They're nice wide heel on them. And please forgive my toes. I forgot these were open toe. And I didn't paint my toes. Oh my god. I'm such a hoe tonight. I'm so skanky right now. Oh my god. Thanks for still watching though. <laughs> the old little Peg Bundy like this. I love it. I love me some Peg Bundy. Do, 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 do. make for a nice bum pop. So without I love heels for that reason alone. They're very comfortable. I have run in these. I can probably still, I would, I would be able to wear these for a full day, for sure, without a problem. They're so well broken in <laughs> that they'll, they're like slippers at this point. They're my fancy slippers. Kind of makes me want to put fuzzy things on them. Oh God. 
<laughs> oh god, I've got a problem. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for the fuzzy shoes. Well, those were fun. I guess for my next pair, maybe I'll do ooh, my patent leather platforms from Le Chateau. I featured these in a video recently. Not recalling if it was a YouTube video or one of my other videos, but uh, yeah, I like these shoes. These are rather old as well. Um, but quite comfortable. Again, due to the platform, it reduces the actual arc of the foot. So those, the, though these are like six inch heels, oh, with the platforms, it's not so bad. I can walk way better in these than I can in the devious uh, pleaser ones that uh, Digger sent me. Take it 25. I like that they're shiny and black. Like my leggings. Like my Too much wear and tear on them. I don't think I've worn them out too much and I can't recall even if I was still at the bank but I know when I had my store I wore them to my store a few times. Give me a little extra height, a little extra um, booty. Pop, 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 pop. Let's see, let's see the difference. Right, there's my booty. And there it is without the platforms. And here it is with the platforms. Is it a noticeable pop or not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see there's some scuffs and stuff on them. Uh, the bottom of the shoe is pretty walked on but uh, the heels in pretty good shape that's a great indication that I never wore them to my bank job um, <laughs> let's see how the other one looks oh, this one's got some schmutz on it some schmutz must have been in the grass oh did I wear these in the grass did I wear these for hooping in the grass maybe Seems like something I would do. Just a little bit of dirt, that's all. Oh yeah. Oh, I can dangle on these ones. should change that to I should be able to dangle in these ones. I guess I can dangle in the uh, others as well. The slingbacks I just can't heel pop in those. I guess it's a constant heel pop when you're in slingbacks. Oh my god. The thoughts that are going through my head right now. <laughs> All right. That's it for the Le Chateau heels. I think on sale these were like 40 bucks maybe. Alright, now <clears throat> let's go with the tuck. These are gold leather. <laughs> They've got a little bit of a cushion in the bottom of the shoe there. They got a nice soft rubber heel or sole in mean. So yeah, this has a nice uh, soft rubber heel which helps when you're dancing around. I think they're meant to be like performance shoes maybe. I don't know. 
But really, if you're wearing shoes like this, <laughs> it's all about performance. Let's not get that wrong. Now these I find just a tiny bit snug um, and a little bit uncomfortable because of that, maybe. But uh, I don't know, I think uh, the shoe itself is just a little too narrow. I've got a pretty wide foot, but uh, <clears throat> not the comfiest pair of shoes I own, but they are really, really fun and I do enjoy them nonetheless. They are uh, gold, metallic, shiny. They've got pink leopard. Some, some of the leopard prints look like, whoops. Like what is not to like? Do, 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 do. They should dangle nicely. They're nice and light. Very light shoe. Well, I jinxed myself there, didn't I? <laughs> shoes. In fact, there is no place in Halifax to buy a brand new pair. Um, there is one consignment shop where you would find a pair. And we did. And we also sold a pair as well. So, woohoo! But these are size 39. And they're a nice ankle boot. And uh, there's not too much wear and tear to show. Um, except for on the little sole there, on the little tip of the toe. I'm gonna wear these to work someday. My husband will kill me if I wear them in the gravel. <laughs> Oh, this one does have a little bit of damage actually because I wore them the first night I got them I wore them out shopping at the mall and um, I found a little bit, like they're very narrow so the grates on the escalator I stepped on the escalator like an amateur let my foot go all the way down instead of remaining on my tiptoes and the heel went between the slots of the stairs and it ripped the uh, the material on the heel a little bit, which is sad. But we had some leather glue and we very carefully glued it back down so it's not super noticeable, but it's there. And I know it's there. And this is why I can't take nice things. Look at these. Friggin' beautiful.
Well, it's come that time to end the video, unfortunately, but don't worry, I'll be back. I've still got two, four, six, eight, nine, ten pairs of shoes to go through. Ah! Guess the next two videos will be fibers. Hmm. Well, thanks for tuning in, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. If you want to see more fun times, head on over to Patreon and Reddit and OnlyFans and Instagram for more of my madness. <laughs> Thank you so much and I truly appreciate every click I get. Uh, you guys are blowing my mind here. Thank you so much. Sassy Stacy out.